Have you finished your Christmas shopping yet? I know I certainly haven't. It can be so hard to think of gift ideas for your loved ones, especially for beekeepers, and especially if you're not a beekeeper yourself. So I put together my best list of gift ideas for a beekeeper, so you're guaranteed to find at least one idea of what to get a beekeeper for Christmas. So stay tuned. Oh, and make sure you stick around to the end because I have a special guest that'll be making an appearance. Okay, so I made a list and I checked it twice. <laughs> okay, that's a little cheesy, but one of the things that beekeepers are gonna be needing coming up really soon here is a candy board. Now, candy boards are the easiest way to be able to feed your hives without disturbing them too much in any way. I like to use these. I've usually only used a shim with a uh, piece of newspaper on top of the hive to feed sugar to the colony, but having a candy board that has that screen on the bottom so that the bees can just come right up and start eating the candy would be so beneficial because the way I do it, like I said, I put down newspaper and I put sugar on top of that and then I usually have to poke holes in the newspaper just to make sure they actually can get through it and get to it. Um, but a candy board would just make everything so much easier and a lot of them have a <clears throat> upper entrance that's already built into them. So that makes it super easy too. Here's a video of the process I took to put candy on all of my hives um, like about a couple weeks ago. Not too difficult, it's fairly easy, but it's really beneficial, especially in February when your bees start running low on their food stores. And yeah, see, <laughs> I have to poke a hole in it because it's not a screen. Um, a screen would make everything so much easier. So a candy board for a beekeeper for Christmas would be super beneficial. Now, the next idea I have are these metal queen excluders. I've only ever bought the plastic ones, but then I tried one of these metal excluders and oh my gosh, I am obsessed. I've always usually bought the plastic ones because they're just a little bit cheaper, but it is worth the extra money to get a metal one because they don't snap and they don't break as much and fling all your bees everywhere and make them get really angry. Idea number three is some honey bee healthy. A beekeeper can never have too much honey bee healthy. What it is, is it's a supplement that you can add to your sugar water to add in some amino acids and vitamins for the bees. This is super helpful because as you know, all of us beekeepers are always feeding our bees like crazy, especially our new hives. Now, my next idea is a fume board or an escape board. These can be so helpful when you're pulling off your honey supers because sometimes there's a lot of bees in there. I know this is a brood box. This is the only video I could find to kind of like explain to you, but sometimes there's a lot of bees up in that super that you're trying to take off. See all those bees in there? And it can be a pain to have to brush all those off. So to have an escape board or a fume board that you just put on the hive, leave the hive for a couple days, and then come back and see that there's no more bees left in that super makes it so much better and less time consuming to take off your honey. Now, my next idea is a frame holder for your frames. I'm always putting my frames on the ground and then small hive beetles or anything can just hop on them and then they end up going into the hive when I put the frames back in the hives. So to have this holder that you just hang on the side of your hive and then you can just put frames on it will be super beneficial and not many people have one. So get your favorite beekeeper one of these and I promise you they will love you for it. Okay, so my next idea is one of these frame jigs. Oh my gosh, okay, we are always building millions of frames, I swear, and it's so time consuming. But what this jig does is all you do is you put the sidebars in this bottom bar right here, or this sidebar, and then you just slap your top bars on top and then you just nail them all up, tighten that thing, and then you just flip it over and then you can put your bottom bars on the frames and nail all of those up. You can get seven frames done in like three minutes. It's so fast and so effective. So definitely get your favorite beekeeper one of these because they are the best. 
Idea number six, you can never go wrong with getting a beekeeper any new boxes to add to their hives or any new frames. We're always going through these like crazy, whether we have to replace old ones or maybe we are expanding and we just need to add more boxes. So you can never go wrong with those. Now, my next idea is a new bee suit. I just got a brand new bee suit, one that is instead of one um, connected suit, it's two separate pieces. So that is easier. Sometimes I might not need the pants or, you know. So what I like about this suit is it is super lightweight and breathable, which is so nice in the summer because it's always so hot. <laughs> and so we're usually sweating our butt off under our suit. So you really need something that's vented. That's what I like about this suit. And it has a really good elastic around the waist so that no bees can fly up your shirt. Um, same with at the wrists and also at the ankles. I also like that this suit has padding on the knees, just a little bit, not too much. But I don't know if you've ever kneeled down when you're keeping your bees and then you accidentally squish a bee with your knee, but then the stinger goes through your suit because of all the pressure and then you get stung in the knee. Not fun. I also like that this suit has so many pockets. I am a 100% a pocket person. I always have so many things in my hands when I'm taking care of my bees. So I love that this suit literally has like 10 different pockets that I can access. And it's also nice that it has this zipper. Whenever it gets too hot, I can just unzip myself and yeah. And last but not least, this suit has a round veil, which helps whenever a bee lands on the screen, it doesn't sting you in the face. Cause that's happened to me so many times. Now, this book, I was gifted this book and I am amazed how much information is in it. So all beekeepers, in my opinion, really need to check this book out. There's so many charts on different ways you can expand the quickest, how the bees are going to grow. Um, there's even charts about the honeybees and mites, which I absolutely love since I will be breeding mite resistant bees this year. There's a lot of really helpful information um, about Mel's favorite way to reproduce queen without having to graft. So go check this out. It's by Mel OTS Queen Rearing. It's a really good read and a really good find. Now my last idea before I bring on our special guest is a pollen trap. The more I learn about bee biology, the more I realize that pollen is absolutely essential for our bees. And pollen substitute can't really replace what the bees will be getting when they're actually using real pollen. Now, I lied, there's one more idea that I have, and that is some of this swarm commander. I have never personally caught a swarm, but I've heard so many people talk about using this and that it works absolutely amazing. I'm gonna be using it this spring to hopefully catch my first swarm. So if you wanna catch yourself a swarm and get free bees, go get some of this. Okay, so now what we've all been waiting for, this last weekend I went to Napoleon Bee Supply in Napoleon, Michigan, and I visited Tim Greer, the owner of one of the few bee stores that we have here in Michigan. So I asked him what his customers buy beekeepers for Christmas. So let's go see what he has to say. <laughs> so Christmas is coming up. Um, what are some of the things that people come in here to buy for, for beekeepers for Christmas? Because I know it's always like a really hard thing to figure it out. Is. Okay, what do you get a beekeeper, especially if you're not a beekeeper yourself? Some people go with the easy way and get a gift certificate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but a lot of people will buy gloves. They will buy smokers. Mm -hmm. They will buy maybe a new jacket. Mm -hmm. um, the metallic high holder. Can you show me? tool. Yeah. <laughs> Never lose me again. Yep. <laughs> I love that. So, this is our double magnet high, high hole yeah. tool. So, yep. Yeah, I like that. That's it really convenient. Just, if, you, if you're like me, I set them down and I won't find them for three months. Oh, That's yeah, why yeah. I have like a half a dozen at home. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, you won't, as long as you put it back on, you won't lose your hive, mm -hmm. your hive tool. So. Okay. Anything else that people buy usually for Christmas? Or? Yeah, they get into a lot of the. Um, the essential oils, the candles, the t-shirts, um, the stocking stuffer kind of things. We have a local guy that makes goat milk soap. That's oh. a huge hit. Sounds like you have a lot of local things here. We do. Like we try that. to get as local as we can. Yeah. In our pot holders and towels, we have a, a couple in their 80s that they make this stuff for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh that's, so, that's really nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's usually just the, the 
mainly the stocking stuff or items that people mm -hmm. like to get. For sure. And you have uh, an online store too, is we that correct? We do. Everything okay. is sold online. Okay. So that makes it easy for people who don't live in Michigan. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have T-minus five days until Christmas, so go check out Napoleon Bee Supply. He's offering 10% off for in-store purchases. And make sure you share this video with any of your non-beekeeper friends as kind of like a hint like, hey, these are some of the things I want for Christmas. So here's some ideas. I hope this video was helpful. And as always, I'll see you guys soon. He gave us one proud evening Under the old mistletoe